All right, everybody, welcome back to Skywatchers Radio Live again on the Dark Matter Radio Network and PSN Radio. With us, none other than a good friend, Dan Martin, who's been on the show with us before to talk about the apocalypse. Well, now he's on to a different project and a really, really cool project. Uh, Dan, welcome to the show, and uh, tell the folks about this uh, free organic food factory that you're working on. All right, Jackal, thanks for having me first off. Um, as we went over before, uh, let me just run over just quickly for the listeners that don't remember or haven't heard. Um, a little bit brief background about myself. Uh, I was an engineer for Boeing Aerospace. My wife was an engineer for AT&T, both very lucrative careers, uh, sick, ro- sick of corporate America, consumerism, capitalism, um, cashed in all our investments, sold two waterfront homes in two different countries, cars, jet skis, boats. Uh, burned the cell phones, TVs, computers, and left society. Uh, six years, we lived 100% off the grid, self-sufficient. Um, we didn't leave our homestead once. Uh, we didn't see or communicate with even one other person the entire time. Uh, no news, no TV. We made our own uh, home, our own food. We grew our own food. Uh, made our own solar panels and wind turbines, gray water systems, rake catchment systems, so on and so forth. So what we got going on now is... Um, well, let me just kind of run you through a little uh, example, a little daydream here. Um, imagine this. Imagine you walk into a restaurant for a nice, relaxing meal. You sit down at the table, grab your menus, and in nice, bright, bright red letters, the, the letters F-R-E-E appear next to each succulent dish. That's my uh, favorite word in the dictionary, by the way. Succulent? If it's or free, dish. it's for me. No. No, free, free. <laughs> Secondly, that's my second favorite word. You know what the greatest nation in the world is, folks, right? Freedom Nation? No, donation. Oh, well, that's it. Uh-huh. Continue. So, uh, just just free. Every meal, every every dish is free. Um, no, uh, no catches, no hidden fees, no de- donations, uh, no cash registers. Um, Okay, here's another example. You walk into a local organic grocery store, um, and guess what? All the produce, all the seafood is completely free. You fill your cart with a little bit of this, some of that. Your total adds up to zero dollars and zero cents. And again, well, you know, no as a big guy, uh, as a big guy, I must say this is uh, something like Nirvana to me. Well, I like where and this I, is going. And I get, you know, I, I, how, how could you possibly do this? You have expenses. You have um, profit market. Right. How is this possible? Right. And, and that's it goes back to exactly what we did. We had a large, uh, after cashing everything, we had a large startup um, bankroll to um, purchase everything we needed to become 100% self sufficient. Like I said, we produced our own electricity. We had uh, natural and passive heating and air conditioning. Um, we lived in a non habitable free trade zone. We didn't pay taxes. Don't work, so there's no income taxes. Uh, we built everything ourselves, so there's no construction fees, no insurance, um, no expenses, no cell phones. We made our own fuel, no cost of gas, um, no mortgage. Once you eliminate all the expenses, uh, you know, there's no need to make any profit. You follow right. me? I follow you. Now, I if we can you. do this on a larger scale, don't know uh, if I which, can do this, but I follow you. Go ahead. Which we are doing. Um, we're doing it right now, actually, um, feeding a small community of about 2,000 people in a little town, a little village called San Pancho, outside of Puerto Vallarta. And we're, we're growing all of our own food with aquaponics, hydroponics. And we're seeing about two times the production rate, two times the um, size of produce, two times the nutrient and sugar content and roughly about four times the quantity due to an indoor year-round growing cycle. And that's with, that, with 99% less effort, 99% less cost, 99% less water, and almost 99% less loss when we compare it to current annual industrial food production yield rates um, in the same zone. And then we don't hang, have a hard hang on, Hang on, i got to ask a question. Sure. You're telling me indoor, it's 99% more efficient than outdoor using the natural sun's rays? Uh, with the cost with of LEDs. electricity, LEDs do consume power because that's actually something I'm more than familiar with. Mm-hmm. Um, and we're, we we get all of our power 100% free. You get all your power 100% free. 
solar power and wind turbines, 100% free. Can generate enough power to provide enough LED lights for... And, and move the water pumps. Um, okay. We're producing about six tons of produce and seafood a month. I understand it, but about the amount... 2,000 people. Okay, so my question then would be the, the enormous amount of money you need to construct the facility to house the lighting, the pumps, and the plants in would right. be your exorbitant cost. Uh, we're looking at about 100000 um in startup costs, and we have... For how many square, donated... square foot of a, real, a facility? Uh, we're looking at building a... Let's see, I'll tell you right here. Sorry, 60, I'm a number foot, country. Oh, 60,000 square foot uh, facility. For $100,000. Yep, that's with 700 hydroponic bays, three 400,000-gallon fish farms, and uh, 100 hydroponic-fed fruit and nut trees. For $100,000. For $100,000. You're talking about just a factory, just a shell, just a warehouse. We don't have all the, uh, you know, amenities of, of sheetrock and plugs and nice lighting and flooring. No, and no, no. no. I'm, I'm just, just thinking about the cost of the frame for a 60,000 square foot facility, just the metal enclosure. Just, just, the steel, just the steel and the labor for welding and construction is about $30,000. For 60,000 square feet. Wow. Yes. The land I, I, was, who are you robbing? I, I, how are you getting someone to commit to that price? That, <laughs> that, that just, just current, sounds amazingly, amazingly It does, doesn't it? Cost that's effect. Current, that's the current rate of steel right now per pound. Okay, so, that, okay, that, so you're factoring that in as the cost of steel right now, not even pressure being formed into the sheets that need to be used to manufacture. Oh. No, no, the cost of steel is sold by the pound. It's already whatever form you buy it in I beam, C Perlins, um right. C channel, it's 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 just per pound. It's not you don't pay extra for uh you know the shape you want it in. Okay, I I I I'm just still dropping my jaw at sixty thousand square feet for for that price with everything enclosed inside it already. That's just wow. Um, what do you mean everything enclosed inside of it? Well, you're saying the whole entire facility is costing you $100,000. The structure loan is 60000 The um, What we're going to have to pay to have the hydroponics set up, the base set up, is about another um, twenty. But we are pretty much moving our whole facility from Puerto Vallarta up. So we're just going to pick transportation costs on that. The land was donated. Uh-huh. We have all the stock ready to go, all the plants, all the trees, all the um, produce. Okay, so you, have exi- so you have the existing raw materials to make this all come together. But So the actual startup cost is not $100,000. No, it's only going to be sixty-two or sixty-seven. I don't want to uh, Pl- see the but 62 that, or But you're not counting in all the assets that are coming along with you to put it together. True. You mean what it's going to be worth? No, no, no. Well, you're bringing plants. There's a value to that. Uh, the LEDs that you're installing, there's a value to that. Uh, even right. if it's something that was purchased prior, it still right. goes into the cost of putting this thing together. You can't tell me this whole facility is costing just $100,000. The Don't structure forget. loan is costing 67 That's it. Right, we have but the land donated to us. We have an angel investor out of Houston that's going to pay for all the pumps and lighting. Oh, and oh, see, I have see. Ah, oh, okay. Now, now I'm seeing the bigger picture here. I'm just talking about structure loan. Well, the only the crowdfunding is only for the structure loan, and ah, okay. um, what we need to pay for uh, permits for construction and um, the labor. All right, so, but everything else is coming along with. There's right. you know, I have, there's I have, there's other out uh, external investments. In other words, that's already paid for. The, the Kickstarter right. campaign um, is... Tell us about the Kickstarter, because we're almost yeah, short on yeah. time here, so t- let's yes. talk about the Kickstarter. I'm, I'm sorry I went on a stretch on this. No, no, no. I'm just trying to understand. You know, you well, know, if I'm going to put some dollars from the from the contributors, so I'm glad you're covering it. And, well, I'm you know, trying so to be one... I might be one of the contributors. I'm in a generous mood today. You, you, you know, we, we really don't Buy need car. contributors as much as we just need getting the word out there. Oh, um, okay. Contributors can come later. We just need to get the word out there. We need to get it... 
get everybody looking at this as much as possible, the uh, place to go to is www.freefoodfactory.com. It'll take you straight to the Kickstarter. And we already have, we're already over $1,000 in the first three mm-hmm. days with almost 50 backers. And um, still got 50 days to go. You got, yeah, you got a lot, a lot to go. You have 50 days. Right. Says, says we haven't there. even started yet. So um, all the information is there. A great, great, great video that they put together um, explains everything that I just kind of crash coursed in. And um, some, some footage of our existing site. We have hydroponically grown papaya trees that are two months old that are already producing fruit. And, uh, I mean, you're talking two years on any other kind of tree uh, before it even starts to produce fruit. Uh, and, and that's how we get these, these massive quantities of reproduction and, 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 Sounds the, exciting. and half the time with, you know, because the tree doesn't have to grow these huge root systems to look for water. It doesn't have right. to grow these huge root systems to protect itself from the, from the wind and cold. And, you know, it, it develops all this time in a straight producing fruit. And uh, you give it optimal conditions, optimal lighting, optimal temperatures, optimal food, and um, and it's going to just straight grow fruit really quick and uh, really big and really fast. No chemicals, no um, no pesticides, no no GMO. It's completely healthy, organic food. The only the only food that it's eating, the plants are eating, is the waste from the fish, and then that water is recycled, reoxygenated, and um, brought back to the fish clean. So it's a closed loop permaculture system and um, we're ready to go. It's our, it's not a theory. It's not a dream. It's already in work. It's been in work for eight years now and uh, we're just upscaling. That's it. Very cool. And again, how they could, tell everybody again how they could find the uh, Kickstarter page. Uh, freefoodfactory.com or go to Facebook and find us at um, Facebook slash freefoodfactory. And we just need to get the word out. We're not asking for contributions. Again, if if you have to contribute, I'm not going to stop you. But really, well, we you, you, you kind of are by asking for pledges on Kickstarter. But that's neither here nor there. Uh, let me ask you: uh, Are you concerned with the Kickstarter uh, thing? Because Kickstarter, if you don't meet the pledge, uh, you know, goal, you don't get a, a, a single dollar. Have you thought about crowdfunding or uh, some of these other sites like Indiegogo or any of these other websites like Kickstarter? Uh, we, we looked at the other ones. They looked at the other ones, but um, they decided on Kickstarter just because it has a higher uh, success rate. It's a little bit over 50% of the pledge of the, the projects that go in get funded, so we went with them. If we don't, cool. we'll just try another method, and uh, if it doesn't come to the United States, it won't come to the States. We got another place going up in, um, I want to say Africa or Egypt. Um, the, uh, they they, they need food in, Yeah, they need food in Africa. Oh man! The, the angel investor that's out of Houston is from Africa or Egypt. I don't remember which one offhand. But he, one of the conditions that he's donating the pumps and materials is if we can duplicate it for him in uh, Africa or Egypt. So that's the next site we'd like to do. Detroit, where um, all these factories and warehouses are already abandoned, they're trying to give yes, away. Then we don't idea. even need the back the sixty-seven thousand. You know, we just recycle a whole building. You know, repurpose <laughs> yeah. the building. That's an excellent idea, actually. That's a great idea. It's not a bad idea. Put, I was actually no, in Detroit yeah. recently. Um, and and you put the people back uh, back to work in Detroit, too, because you'll hire from within. Absolutely. But how do you pay them if you're giving the food away for free? All of our staff is volunteers. 100%. Oh, wow. In other words, no money going back to Detroit. That might pose a problem to Detroit. Just food. <laughs> Just food. Dan, I hope this uh, meets the goal, man. I hope uh, wish you well on this. this is, it sounds interesting. Uh, again, this is something I think we all uh, would could benefit from, and I love free food, so I'm with you. Oh, well, thank you very much. <laughs> thank you for coming on the show. And uh, again, everybody, check out the uh, the Kickstarter account and make sure you you pledge. Even a dollar helps, right, Dan? All right. Oh, the thing is, even a, if you just pledge a dollar and make sure you comment, it boosts us up in the visibility yep. of the search engines. Just the one dollar pledge. It does. It doesn't matter the the quantity or the quality. Sorry, it's the quantity. The more pledges you have with the comments, the more visible the the campaign is. So yeah, just exactly. the dollar will help. Exactly, Dan. Thanks for being on the show, buddy. Thanks a lot, partner. Appreciate. It. Talk to you soon. That gentleman uh, right there is Dan Martin. Everybody, great guy, and uh, that's a great cause, man. It really is, guys. I think the. Uh, no, it uh, sounds the, interesting. The idea is really, really, really cool. So. Much luck to uh, Dan. Uh, everybody check that Kickstarter account out.
All right, everybody, welcome back to Skywatchers Radio Live again on the Dark Matter Radio Network and PSN Radio. With us, none other than a good friend, Dan Martin, who's been on the show with us before to talk about the apocalypse. Well, now he's on to a different project and a really, really cool project. Uh, Dan, welcome to the show, and uh, tell the folks about this uh, free organic food factory that you're working on. All right, Jackal. Thanks for having me, first off. Um, as we went over before, uh, let me just run over just quickly for the listeners. It sold two waterfront homes in two different countries, cars, jet skis, boats, uh, burned the cell phones, TVs, computers, and left society. Uh, six years, we lived 100% off the grid, self-sufficient. Um, we didn't leave our homestead once. Uh, we didn't see or communicate with even one other person the entire that don't remember or haven't heard. Um, a little bit brief background about myself. Uh, I was an engineer for Boeing Aerospace. My wife was an engineer for AT&T, both very lucrative careers, uh, sick, ro- sick of corporate America, consumerism, capitalism, um, cashed in all our investments.